Hey everyone, this is Clara. We are in Leipzig, Germany, and today I'm going to show you super cool things that you can do in one of Leipzig's biggest parks. Okay, let's go. Just to stroll away from the city center, you can find Claritzetkin Park, the city's most beloved and popular green oasis. In this video, I'm going to show you seven cool things you can do and see in the park, starting with Leipzig's favorite pastime, bike riding. Riding a bike allows you to cover some ground while looking and living a little bit more like a true local. While app-based companies like Nextbike are a great option for shorter trips, I recommend using the company's Swap Feeds if you are staying in Leipzig for more than a month. It costs about 16 euros each month and you can bring the bike home like it's your very own. This is mine, his name is Timmy. This is a great option for students. So here is the Franz Schubert Memorial. I love it. It's kind of, it's right off the main strip so it's right when you enter the park. It's so cool, kind of looks like a grave almost. Yeah, but it's kind of a hidden, little hidden treasure here. Hidden between two bushes by the main entrance is a little gem known as the Franz Schubert Memorial. While the famed 19th century Austrian composer never made it to Leipzig himself, he had a connection with the city as a publishing location. But Schubert's works are still important to the city and have been performed under the direction of other great composers such as Felix Mendelssohn. Paying a quick visit to this unique granite monument will help infuse a little classical culture into your day. But culture means nothing if you're not caffeinated. However, if you follow the smell of roasting coffee beans, it'll bring you to this adorable little stand where you can support local coffee vendors. This one is Rosgut, and they have multiple locations throughout the city, but this one is definitely their most fun. Many say that Leipzig's urban development plan is built from water, and the Palmengartenwehr is a great example of that. If you walk along the Elster River in the park, you'll soon come across what looks to be a castle, but psych, you'll realize upon closer inspection it's actually a low-head dam constructed in 1917. The dam is located at the southern end of the Elster River Basin and protects the city from flooding. Walk across the dam and take a peek at it working its magic. The thing about Leipzig is if there's sun, everyone's gonna be in the park. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, morning, afternoon, if people are working. Somehow the park when there's sun is always full. While the dam is beautiful, you need to go somewhere else for the party. And I don't know what it is about Germans and sitting on bridges, but the Saxonbrücke, which connects the center to the western part of Leipzig, is known by locals as a hip spot to relax, listen to music, and crack open a beer. Don't worry, it's legal to drink beer publicly in Germany. And if you come later and in the heat of summer, you might even be lucky enough to come across an impromptu bridge rave. Sometimes they get broken up pretty quickly, but in the words of Coldplay, if you never try, then you'll never know. If one classical composer wasn't enough for the day, head over to Richard Wagner Heim, an eerie and unfinished memorial to the Leipzig-born composer. The complex was completed during the Second World War, but a planned monument to the composer Richard Wagner was not implemented in the end. The dry stone wall and the western flower terrace are the only things that have been preserved to this day, but now it's mostly a place for locals to meet and like do acro yoga. Yeah, this place is like weird ruins or something, and uh, I think you should be a little careful around here. Don't want to get hit by a baton. For a more modern taste of Leipzig, walk a little bit north of the Hein and spot a glimpse of the Red Bull Soccer Arena. Yes, I mean Red Bull like the drink, as the Austrian beverage company is the sole investor of the club. The Red Bulls are a controversial topic in Leipzig, as many think the new and flashy club goes against the city's deep-rooted soccer traditions. You'll probably be pretty tired at this point, maybe the sun is setting, time to go home, get your bike. If you are ever visiting Leipzig, no matter the season, but especially in spring and summer, Claritzetkin Park is an absolute must-see. It adds a nice touch of peace and serenity to your trip, and is really easy to pass through if you're already on your way from the center to the western part of the city. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it at all or learned something new, don't forget to hit that big fat red subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed our little trip to the park today and can't wait to see you on our next adventure. Bye.